So Peugeot Bipper 1.3 engine. It's uh, customers complaining that it's got a terrible knocking noise when it's cold. So first of all, it has got a fault code on, so I'm going to plug into it quickly and uh, check that one out. A couple of things that he has said, though, is he put some diesel treatment in it or some injector cleaner or something like that. He said the knocking noise sort of went or got better after he used that. Now, don't know whether that's just coincidence or not, because when he said the knocking noise and when I heard it the first time, I was assuming it's going to be the timing chain or something around there that's, uh, that's causing this noise. But after he said that, it's making me think that it could potentially be a diesel knock. So what I'm gonna do is do a leak off test. It's got 128,000 miles on it and it's probably never had a timing chain done. So I could be right straight away, but we'll do a diesel leak off test just to be certain. So I'm going to whip the air filter off, have a look, possibly whip some covers off and see if I can see anything there and go from there. So to do a leak off test, so I've accessed the injectors here now, push that out of the way for a minute, and I just take all, that's what I didn't want to do, drop one, take all these little clips off. And then I'll take off the injector, the return pipe off the top of them, just like that. Push them out the way. Pull them to one side in a minute and then I'll grab my leak off test now. And all I'm gonna do is just match the right connector, which I believe is going to be that one. Yeah. So one. Well, then, rods are always a good idea for these. Just give it a little twist at the end there. And then I'll just hang it like that. Then we'll start it up, let it run, let it fill the pots, and they should all be about the same. So I'm just going to start it up now. Blanks on, don't I? Okay, so leak off test is done. So as you can see, basin, this is cylinder one, two, three, four. So cylinder number four and three definitely need replacing. Cylinder number one and two aren't too bad, but I'm gonna advise to change all four as a set and then we'll uh, see if they need coding in 
and go from there. See how wet the uh, tip is of cylinder number one. Look, there we go. See how wet it is compared to the other one. And they look relatively new, so I bet they're just cheap knockoff ones. We'll. Uh, It's a clip I dropped. We put a set in, um, and then we will shall see if the knocking noise is gone. Right, we have got four new injectors. Um, the only thing I would say now, we've also got a new fuel filter as well. I'm going to replace that at the same time. But on these, I always make a note of the numbers on here just because I might have to program the injection quantities into the ECU when replacing them, uh, unless they're all exactly the same, which I think they will be. No, they're all different, so yeah, it looks like I will have to code them all in. Uh, so I'll get these in now. It's very easy, air box off, take the fuel pipes off, take the leak off pipes off, and then there's just two 12 mil bolts that hold the clamps on and then they just slide straight out so i'm not going to bother um talking through each step and straightforward i'll put these in now on a time lapse and then we'll start that and see if the knocking noise is gone fuel filter changed I have put in the injectors, so now all I'm going to do is cycle the ignition a few times because I've changed the fuel filter, it just primes the fuel filter up for me. So you can hear when the pump stops, so I just cycle it again then. I'll do four turns. And hopefully there should be no more rattle. Tidy my tools up, put it out. Um, DPS full as well, so I'm going to do a DPF regen on it. But yeah, and that solved that diesel knock. 